hello there Sandra here and welcome back to my channel and I've been waiting for the weather to be quite bright outside to record this but it's not going to work so we're going to try this and today okay so let me tell you what I've got in my mind that I'm hoping is going to work I bought this uh, ruched dress from a bestie and she's she's got some you know damage to her there's this stuff that needs to be done here she's a very bright sort of white color I don't wear white but what I thought we could try and do today is dye her a different color and then turn her into a shorter kind of dress now it's more uh, I did originally want to turn her into one of the blouses, but she has these big ass pockets here. And I don't know what to do with them yet. I'm just, I'm like you lot, I'm in the dark. But I'm figuring if this isn't something that, you know, I, I didn't mind spending just a little bit. I didn't pay full price for her, I paid half price. So we can see if I can just dye her just a little bit of a different color, and then maybe try and turn her into some kind of either shorter blouse, like that um, or something that I would wear more because at the moment I'm wearing my lounge pants uh, and I've modified the waist um, I've taken off the original waistbands I've added my own and now what I've just done is I've added elasticated cuffs to the bottom just so they don't keep catching because the lounge pants are very long they're catching my Birkenstock so I just added that and what I'm after is some nice little blousy tops now I've been using the silk muse a couple of those and I just thought could I do one out of a dress but obviously I'm going to need to change the colour and I don't have a lot of the dyes in I haven't had success with the, with the rig dyes before but what I'm going to do is I've got a rig dye that I can use and then if I don't have a success with that I've bought another dye that's supposed to be for silks and I did try it on a silk originally I had no luck with that but we'll try it let's just try these different things see what does and doesn't work and I'm gonna dye it up first <laughs> um, and then look at repairing this bit here that needs repair and then we'll take a look at the bottom part of the dress see whether I, I need to remove these these off or whether I can keep them on I don't know but let's give it a go guys and see what happens I might have to do this in my bathroom the dying part because my husband's watching the soccer we've got an open plan house and I don't want to be talking um, in the kitchen with you know all that going on so all I've done is I've popped her in the washing machine in the lingerie bag and all I've done is given her a, a wash initially to take any any anything that was you know on it out and she's still a bit damp I don't dry them so all I've done is popped her in the lingerie bag a nice fragrance free um, cleansing on her and we're gonna she, while she's still wet like this then that's when I'm gonna dye her so let's get on to it wish me luck okay my darling so I'm gonna try doing this in the bath but in a bucket okay and I've got my Clorox cleaner and bleach to spray the bath down with after the cat wants to come in let her come in you know what cats are like whenever you're doing stuff um, so look I've just read on the back of the writ I don't have a lot of different colors okay I've got the Kelly green, I've got a camel, I've got a light purple, I've got a yellow and I've got an orange. Yeah, I don't have any of the colours that I wanted for this, but I figured, well, it sounds like there's a bit of Kelly green in here. Maybe I could try doing another Kelly green. Now, it says it's an all-purpose dye. We all know that. For cotton, wool, nylon and more. Now, at the back, it tells you what you need to know about dyeing stuff what I did notice first of all it says preparation is to pre-wash the fabric to remove any finishes or stains which you know I just did uh, she's just 
had a, a, a nice um, pre-wash, but there was no conditioner put in there, just the wash. Um, the hottest water safe for it. The dye bath must have enough water for, for the fabric to move freely. Okay. To achieve a darker or more intense colour, double dye the quantity. I haven't been out, so I've only got this. But what I'm thinking I can do, because another thing I do not have at the moment is any colour dye fixative. So I'm going to have to order some anyway. So what we're going to do is it's going to be round one. We're just going to do it with a green, see what colour she comes out. If I like the colour, that'll be the only colour I do it. If I want her darker, then what I'll do is I'll order another colour and the fixative at the same time and then in the next part of the video somewhere along we'll do another dye but I don't know I, I don't know what colour this is going to come out so we're going to learn together now it says and this is what I do this is what I do with the cottons that I do cottons and linens you always add salt to the water to get it to stay it's saying here that you should add for silks a cup of vinegar it doesn't say what kind of vinegar. I assume it's not the vinegar I put on my fish and chips. So I don't <sighs> white vinegar. I don't know. Never done it before. It's probably why it never worked out before. Um submerge the fabric into the dye, stir consistently for 30 minutes, which I do. Um we're into warm water, mild detergent. Obviously, you're gonna use the colour dye fixative because your colour will come out. Um, immediately after actually it says immediately after dyeing cotton linen rayon or ramy but it doesn't say to use it for silks now that is unusual Ooh. okay well this is a whole lesson for all of us so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna fill this is with my water first my bit of water I'm gonna add the color I'm gonna add the vinegar it says half a cup I'm just gonna wing it I'm just going to put in what I think is, it should be. See what the colour looks like. If I need to mix another colour with it, then like I say, I've got an orange and a, a light brown I can add. But let's try the green. So let me get this water filled up and I'll come back to you. You might not see my face because I'm sitting on the side of the bath. But I'm just going to clean out this. I've run the water so it's quite warm. And what I'm going to do is just add this colour to it but I'm not going to fill the bowl right the container right up okay and then let's add the vinegar if you get my spoon uh, that's about half a cup I reckon notice I'm wearing my pinny and like I say if any colour gets on the side of the bath I've got the, the bleach Okay, so what I'm going to do is stir it up. You'll know I've said this before and I'll keep saying it, wear your gloves. So get all that. And then I'm just going to dunk it. Oh God, I can't believe I'm doing this again. And if it turns out, I'll be happy. <laughs> I mean, this is what always happens whenever I try it. I try it, I dye it, and then when I rinse it, it <laughs> rinse is clear. So, what I'm going to do is keep agitating it to make sure that the dye gets all over the silk. I think I would have preferred a darker green, but you know what? I'm just going to, if this is all we've got to work with, this is what we're going to work with. This is kind of a trial sesh. A sesh. I know if you are one of the Canther Bay besties who likes the greens, currently you're going, ooh, I like that. So 30 minutes I'm going to do this for. And then I'm wondering, I know it's done the green, whether I should just add just a tad of the camel. And I won't just add it to the water. What I'll do is I'll take it out. No, 
now I like to experiment. I know the lighting in here is bad, guys. So. Oh, why didn't I take that off first? I can't get the thing off. I knew that was going to happen. Is that a tag of a camel? I don't even know that's going to do anything, but... I don't know. It might take it down from not being as bright. Might give it more of a... I can't even think of the word now, guys. Sagey kind of colour, I'm thinking. You know, like a dusty green. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this for 30 minutes. I'm going to get very sore arms, but I'm going to do it. And then after 30 minutes is up, I'm going to take her out and just rinse her in some cold water and come back. Well, no. What I'll do is I'll do this for 30 minutes exactly like this and then i'll come back to you after 30 minutes okay guys we're well, halfway through this process it's about 15 minutes and i went to google to check about setting dyes in silks etc etc you get conflicting messages from everywhere <laughs> so this is what i think i'm going to do i've already added vinegar to, to this water to help it set and I'm letting the water cool. But I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to empty this colour. I'm going to fill the bucket again. And I'm going to put more vinegar and salt. And I'm going to add salt to it as well with cold water. And then I'm going to let it sit in for about 15 minutes more, if, you, if that makes any sense. I figured, well, let's just do it. i got my magic stick there. So, at the moment she's looking a good green, so I'm going to take her out and I'm going to empty, oh, I hope I'm not making a horrible mistake. Look! That's how most of the stuff in my life has been. I wing it. Okay, so I'm going to let this water get nice and hot. Show you. Don't worry about that colour at the moment. I'm going to add some salt. And it says vinegar as well, so I don't know. See, I don't know whether this is going to take the colour out, but let's have a look. if it takes a bit of it out and don't worry about my bath guys I'll clean that to be honest it's the only time my bath ever gets a really really good clean and what I'm going to do now I'm going to leave that just going to mix it all around I'm going to leave that for 15 minutes I'm going to let this water cool right down what I'm trying to do is open up them fibres again like I say if I'm doing this wrong I don't know but I mean, the colour seems to still be in there. And I guess as long as it's not white, I'm happy with it. Uh, and like I, like I said at the beginning, if this isn't quite the colour for me, then all I'll do is I'll just get a different colour and dye over it. But this might end up being like, you never know till it's done and dried what something's going to look like. So I'm going to leave that for about 15 minutes and let that water cool and I'm going to start cleaning my bath. So I'll see you in 15 minutes. Okay, so keeping in with the stupid stuff that I've done in the past again. I thought I'd clicked video and was recording and it, it had defaulted to photo. So I can't redo everything I've just, sh I've just done and thought I'd done. But all I did was I let it sit another 15 minutes in the bucket and then I just kept putting cold water in the bucket until the colour that ran out of the 
dress was sort of a clear, very pale green then. So most of the darker colour, the darker dye had come out. So now what I'm going to do is, this looks like a right mess, I suppose it is. This is my lingerie bag that I put my silks in. I've had it for years guys, so I'm not going to change it. So I gave her a nice sort of wrung her out a bit. She still changed colour. So now this is the thing, This what I'm going to do is pop her in the bag and zip the bag up. And there she is. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop her in my washing machine just on a 20 minute wash on a cold setting. Just that. Then after I've done that, I'll do it again, but I'll add a little bit of fabric so, uh, fabric um, wash to it. So, so the first wash is going to give it a take out any of extra dye. The second wash is just going to make sure it doesn't all come out. And then we're going to see what she looks like after that wash. And then I can pop it in the dryer for like five ten minutes and come back to you and show you. And I mean, at the moment, it looks like the colour took. I ain't got a washed on thing yet. Um, so let's get it washed, pop it in the washing machine, and I guess I'll see you back with the washed thing. She's getting two washes. Oh, stress well, eating, guys. I'll tell you what, my doctor asked me how I maintained my physical appearance, and I said, I don't know. I have got a clue what you're talking about. But those scales that you put me on, liars. Obviously invented by a man. My cat thinks that I'm eating her food because we dish the cat's food up on. So now she's like, oh, mommy, what are you eating my food for? See? They don't eat the same food as us by choice. That's their choice. My last boy, Cat Jack, he would eat, well, anything. Anything he cook, he'd even vomit, eat his vomit and come back for more food. He was that kind of a cat. These will only eat things in gravy. I can let her sniff it. But she don't want it, see? She's like, I don't know what. <laughs> Look at her licking her lips. <laughs> so this is my piece of carrot cake I got from, uh, I think it was Walmart or somewhere. Cub Foods, Walmart or Cub Foods. This is half of it. Leave the other off later. And yeah, I'm just waiting. <laughs> I'm nervous as heck. Waiting for um, this collar to, to see. <laughs> if I pull this dress out and it's gone back to being white, I'm going to be like, right. <laughs> I'll still show you, don't worry. But I'm like, I am just never touching silks again. My silks are my, uh, my nemesis. Anyhow, whilst I'm waiting for that, I'm going to sit on my bedroom floor, drink my coffee, eat my little bit of carrot cake. <laughs> And I uh, try to think, what the heck am I going to do with that dress now? See y'all again. Okay, my lovelies, are we ready for the big reveal? Ooh. Ooh. So I've just got bits of stuff she's cut off. I didn't actually film the actual sewing part of it because it was so dark. I got up early in the morning and I got it done. And it was so dark that the filming just did not come out good at all. But I figured, well, as long as you see the beginning and you see the end, you know what's on the middle bit. And the colour stayed. Is it, these are the fabric swatches that are left. And this is the colour. The dye, and she had two dyes. And I actually ended up, uh, sorry, she had two washes. I actually ended up washing her on a warm wash twice. Not the cold, the warm twice. Um, just to make sure that all of the dye was out and you know to see what colour it was going to go then I had prior to Christmas but about a week before Christmas there's a site I order from on Etsy I think it is um, called Vintage Mart in India and I ordered some trim I, I, I always order my trims from India direct from India and it's sari trim and I thought oh wouldn't it be nice to add some trim to some silk i've never done it before but i know y'all want to know what i did for a start these are the pants i want to wear here with i think the green will go lovely with his green at the sides and here she is oh is that trim on there sandra is that trim 
Now, if I'm able to right at this moment, I'm going to put up a picture or something so you can see what she looked like before. But I think you saw it. She was the long ruched dress from Panther Bay. She was white and with the tan, uh, sorry, with the tan. I struggle with my words with the teal pattern running through it. She had some damage done here. And I turned her into a top. I fixed all that. I, rem I actually ended up removing the pockets, you know, the pocket, the long pockets on it. I removed them and I added the trim to her. And this is the color that she came out. And I'm not mad at all. It's a really nice. See, I think that's muted. My husband just said it's really bright. I'm like, that's a muted color. For Sandra it is anyway. And yeah, it took really well. And I just think she looks so cute. I, when I added the trim, I found a couple of nice designs on my sewing machine that I, when I, you know, once I'd sewed the trim on, I added this lovely design which is i think you can see um, uh, the red the red it's like a little box design looks like little i just thought that looked pretty and then i did that all the way around i just thought it looked super nice plus that's been double sewn there i did a i did a, a different stitch in the yellow first if you can see yeah that's great and then I did this orange one over the top of it just to make it pop. Uh, Lily wants some attention, so I'm going to have to cut this short soon. And I know y'all just want to see it on. You're just like, well, that's all right doing all that, but how does she look? I had to put this hat on, guys, because my hair hasn't been washed for a day and it's so greasy it's just nasty and this is her i know babe you jump up there but i want you to be careful there's a there's a pin in there and this is her so i fixed the neck i took it all the way up here because the damage was all the way up here i had no choice but to do that and that's okay these earrings are not paired with it these i bought from one of our own very own besties i did do a video to this and then oh Oh, it was horrendous. I did an unboxing video on it. It was such an, an amazing piece. I, I got all the things with it. And then I think what happened was when I tried to upload it, I deleted it. But anyhow, these are these earrings that I got. They're from a mandolin bad and they are just beautiful. So I'm gonna put the link to her little shop. She's got a little shop. But this is, hopefully you can see that in there, yeah. This is the finished product, guys. What do you think? The pattern that I followed for, it was very similar to what the pattern that I've done on a previous video where I, I turned the silk mew into a shorter top. So what I did was I removed the silk pockets first, but left an extra inch all the way around them. And then I folded them over and just sewed them down and sewed them in and just sewed it flat. So you couldn't really see that. And then I did the same at the front because it went all the way around. So the bottom bit of it obviously got covered by this, but because the pocket started about here all the way down, all I did was just, like I say, removed it, fold it over, and then just did a single stitch, which I did in a teal. You probably can't even see it. I don't know, maybe you can. So all I did there, was just sort of a single teal stitch all the way down and that just hid all of that there but I made sure it wasn't just a running stitch I made sure the stitches crossed each other so it just keeps that silk in and yeah I think the length turned out great and you know I didn't even try it on prior to doing this I just I think I just finished it it's taken hours to get this trim sewn on because she has been sewn on quite a bit I left the yellow at the bottom because I wanted it to have that sort of natural kind of vibe at the bottom. So she was sewn on there twice and then I did one really good sew, sort of about two inches up, about there. But the rest of it, I kind of just left. I wanted just to have that flowy, you know, it's to me, this is a very mermaidy kind of 
vibe with the with the sort of the color that it turned out the yellow on it looks i think the trim looks really nice on it. uh let's show you a close-up of the trim so that's the trim and it's a very muted trim i never really go for muted colors i always go for brights but i just think it looks overall so she's my new ruched top <laughs> And yeah, the Rick dye came out absolutely amazing. The colour did lighten up after a couple of washes. And I don't think I'm going to dye her anymore. I was talking to a bestie like midnight last night. Hi girl, um, down in Kentucky. And she was like, oh, you can always, you know, if you want to give her a more moody kind of look. And that was on my radar to do that. But then with this with this trim going down on these pants and with the mermaidy kind of vibe and then these earrings um i know amanda's shop is very mermaidy i just thought oh, is this got a mermaidy like kind of vibe so that's it guys um i also <laughs> you could probably see these are the original lounge pants okay guys and you know that I, I always, I've talked about it in other videos, I remove the waistband entirely. I make my own. Um, it has to be really, really loose for me. I do get bad tummies. Okay, I do suffer with IBS type symptoms and I do swell up. I have to have that really loose there. And then another thing I did to these ones was because they kept catch because la the lounge pants from Canterbury are great. And they are open and wide at the bottom, which is great, but they catch in the bottom of my Birkenstocks. So what I did was I just turned the hem up and I added the elastic. So I am going to be doing a video because I have just got another pair of pants come in from Meredith. Hi Meredith. And yeah, what I'm going to be doing is I'll show you how I, I redo the waistband and how I do the ankles because I kind of like this look. My hubs asked me where my magic carpet was yesterday. I was like, I haven't bought one yet. But yeah, so, uh, so it turned out really well. So both of these are modifications, guys. It's, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have ordinarily cut up a ruche dress. I'm not that stupid, I like them as they are. But this one I did get specifically because it did have damage and I don't think she was being loved as much as, you know, as you do. Because sometimes there are things in your closet that you don't love. Now I love her. Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, so watch out for my next video that I'm going to do. And that is definitely going to be on how I modify the new lounge, uh, the, la the original lounge pants. I know that the new lounge pants from Canter Bay have a completely different waistband now, which is supposed to be a lot more forgiving. I haven't tried them, so I can't tell you what they're like. But from what I've seen on Facebook, Canter Bay Besties, they're doing really good. I just know now that the original ones, they fit me really well. I really like them and I'm quite happy doing my own waistband. And it's, it is actually quite an easy fix, I think. <laughs> I don't know, um, but I think it's quite an easy fix. And it's just a nice, see, it's not even that wide. It's, it's, it's only about an inch, but all the way around. And it is quite loose. So I don't have a lot of it. I think the new waistband is comes up to about here. I didn't want all that. I just wanted it to sit nice, not be too droppy in the crotch. And then I just, like I say, I just added the elastic there because I didn't want them to keep catching in my Birkenstocks. Anyhow, I've gone on too much. Thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. If you liked this video, I'm sorry I did not do the whole video of me sewing it, but I just thought that would be boring for you anyway because it's going to have been a good three or four hours work doing all that. And... Uh, now you've seen the, the end result. I think that's what you wanted to see anyway. I think most people are like, can you dye on silk? Yes, you can dye. I don't think it comes out that dark, but you know, as you can see from earlier, I only had the one color to do. I, I only had a, a, a short amount of colors. 
but I think it turned out perfect for what turned out better than I thought it was going to be and uh, yeah and I'll let you know how she goes in the meantime thank you for watching if you liked my what I just did a thumbs up would be great any comments what do you think of the new lady <laughs> I'm gonna just wear her and wear her and then when I do come to wash her obviously she does have embellishment down here then um I'll probably just hand wash this this entire thing because this because this has sequins and things like that on it I don't want it catch, catching or snagging on any of the silk so this will just be hand washed just in a really really cool obviously cool um water thanks guys bye oh miss lulu wants to say goodbye let's just before oh you might have just seen her jump up on the bed come here oh she wants oh, does anybody want to adopt her for a week just adopt her and play with her just for a week <laughs> she's bored all the time literally all the time bye guys